And then the main event, Samoa Joe, Darby L, no holds barred for the TNT title. Darby's insane. I mean, we like, had, I've seen him. Yeah. I mean, I mean, he's been like this forever, but this was, even by Darby Allen standpoint, standards, he was, he, I mean, it's like, I don't even know how he came out of this, you know, in, you know, between that, that header bump on the table and that, the bump on the steps, I mean, that was, that one was just, I don't know. There were so many bumps here that he took that were just freaking nuts. Well, he had a sweatshirt with thumbtacks in it that they used several times here in this match. He did take a bump over the steps, which propelled him over the barricade and into the front row. Joe just killed him left and right. And finally, at the end, he made a big comeback, and he goes into the ring, and he grabs a knife. But not for that reason. He starts cutting the uh, canvas off the ring, and he had a lot of things he had to cut. And he's cutting, and he's cutting. Joe has to sell for a long time. And he's cutting. And now he's cutting around the other side. And he probably only was cutting for maybe about a minute. But I'm sure to him it felt like about nine hours because there were so many things he had to cut. It felt so So long. he pulls the deal away, and he reveals the wood. He goes for a big dive, but he misses and crashes through a table. And then uh, Joe ends up hitting a middle rope muscle buster onto the wood. And uh, pins him to win the TNT that, that, title. That, that, that thing for both. I don't think for either of them. I just remember Omega, who's the, the, the only other time I think in, in AEW they've ever done that wood thing, which was the Omega Moxley match. And I think Omega missed, um, I don't know, it was a Phoenix Splash or something. I think it was a Phoenix Splash, but some crazy move. And I remember him telling me, like, oh, you know, all the bumps in the barbed wire and the scent, they weren't that bad. But man, that bump onto the wood. That was bad, and I was thinking that when I when he did that because it was like I was like, he's taking a bump on that wood, you know. I didn't think Joe was, but Joe did too. Well, he had to hit yeah. the move. Yeah, but man, I don't know the bump. There's a reason that you know you don't you you have padding on the ring. My God. So just, he he pins just, him. He wins a TNT title, and uh, who should make his big return with a nice new haircut? But Wardlow, and the place went nuts for Wardlow, and he ran wild. Joe bailed. Security hit the ring, and he grabbed one of the security guards and did the running power bomb toss Hernandez over the top rope, and uh, everybody caught the guy. And then we went right to power slap. Yeah. There you go. But yeah, Wardlow's return got over big. So that was ra- that was uh, dynamite, and uh, we'll do those rampage spoilers in a moment. Dynamite next week, MJF and Takeshita, Ricky Starks and the Garcia Guevara Gauntlet, Danielson Roosh, Jamie Hader versus the Bunny, and Acclaim versus the Guns for the tag team title. So, and the and the the Young Bucks and Omega against uh, AR Fox and that's Top right, Flight. that's right. The other so we, got, we, got, we got Friday. we got basically the whole card. Usually we only get like maybe two matches. We got the whole thing for next week, which is um, I believe uh, Laredo, Texas. It's either Laredo or El Paso. Here is some actual commentary from Bash and Burger. I love barbecue. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> During this match, uh, I believe uh, Bastion was uh, choking on his chicken wings. Bastion said, uh, Vince, you haven't lived up to your contract. I uh, require four or five pizzas delivered in a wheelbarrow. It was at this point that Bastion Burger demanded hot dogs. Were they delivered in a wheelbarrow, too? Yeah. That's a big hot dog. We were told Razor and Zanetti have called. It's a big wiener. (laughs) Yes, Brian. Big, juicy wiener. Yes, in between two buns. (laughs) Oh, you broke Vinny. (laughs) If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.